whether you believe you've got all the data you need or not really should not be the t determining factor for whether you should go down a machine-led or data-driven approach. We've seen about everything all around the world in terms of data sets. We've seen satellite imagery with a simple polygon drawn all the way through to very detailed, layered approaches of data sets. Everything from very detailed street networks, aerial networks, conduit layers, dark fibre and so forth. So what we've found over the years is we worked really hard to create a comprehensive library of data prep tools. We did these to really help our customers bridge the gap and get them on the journey of going down a machine-led approach with their designs and ultimately constructing their networks. What we also found is that across the world, depending on where these customers wanted to take their designs, helped us understand exactly to what quality we needed the data to input into our design approach for the output to be appropriate and fit for purpose for them in their projects. Either way, over the years we've had to work with these types of data sets, so we've established a very comprehensive set of data prep tools. These have helped us and our customers establish these data flows with the data they have and we found ways to augment those data sets and help them improve the quality, the completeness of these data sets to enable this machine-led approach. Sometimes these data sets can be unwittingly, they are large, and really us as humans struggle to deal with the complexity and the sheer scale of some of these data sets. Again, we found ways, creative ways and algorithmic ways to really hone in and carve out these data sets so they are manageable and really enable an automated approach to design and construction. These things combined really help in getting speed to market and ultimately saving time and money on our customers' projects.